perfect uh, line with our uh, next speaker. Because what if the, uh, in last century's greatest speakers has had used PowerPoint? And what can Jesus, the wooden horse of toy, and the matrix teach us about great presentations? Our next speaker uh, will share with you the two most powerful techniques to keep your audi audience focused on your presentation. Mark, welcome. Mark, welcome on the test stage. Imagine, it's Wednesday the 28th of August, 1963, and we're in the United States of America, specifically Washington DC. Now you are a primarily black or African American audience, and you're both angry and excited. You're angry because people still discriminate against you based purely on your race. There are signs up saying whites only, no colors. But you're also excited because today you're going to hear your hero, the great Dr. Martin Luther King, come to speak to you. So imagine you see him walk on stage, and as he walks on, a screen goes on behind him, and he says these immortal words. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to talk to you today about the fact that. Uh, I have a dream <laughs> that, uh, one, that one day this nation will rise up from the heights. The true meaning of its creed, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I've got some more slides about that later. <laughs> Two, that one day on the Red Horse of Georgia, the sons of former Slave owners <laughs> will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood, and I'm going to show you that table on one of the latest slides. For those who are taking notes, we've got slide 78. Three, and uh, we have to wait a few moments for the animation. I got a bit carried away with PowerPoint last night. PowerPoint's brilliant, though. I don't know how to do this speech without it, it's fantastic. Uh, that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice. <laughs> you can do all kinds of things about it. Oppression. Will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. So let's march on Washington. Now why did I do this? Because I want to show you that even if your presentation has fantastic content, and this is widely regarded as one of the greatest speeches of the 20th century, even with fantastic content, you can destroy it by the way that you present, and you can kill it stone dead with PowerPoint. So let's start by ditching PowerPoint. Um, I want to tell you this is very important, that I'm by no means a natural presenter. Um, so that's hopefully very encouraging for many of you. That um, yeah, I also get nervous when I start up and speak. I can remember the very first time I had to do a presentation. I was 13 years old at school and we had to speak for two minutes on any topic we wanted. So um, I chose to speak on the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird aircraft, which, which apparently was pretty important in my life at the time. Um, there's worse things a 13 year old boy could be interested in. So I stood in front of the class and I had to sp speak for two minutes and I was really nervous. Who here would have been nervous if you had to speak in front of a group this size? That's about 80% of you. Uh, so I also get nervous and as I was standing there I was shaking and I went white and when I two minutes were finished uh, the teacher said to me, well, that wasn't very long. Can you talk some more? And I was terrified. I had to speak spontaneously in front of my class. It was horrible. If you'd see me then, you would have given me maybe one or two out of ten. But since then, I've learned some tricks and techniques to keep people's attention during a presentation. So that now if I speak in my work, or as I do sometimes at conferences, 
I always get really good feedback, and if you scored, I get like 9 out of 10. And so far, I've always had the highest score of people speaking at a technical conference. So, um, how have I done that? Well, uh, here's my pitch. If my talk is chosen, I'll share with you the two best <laughs> techniques that I know <laughs> for, sharing, for speaking in front of a group. And I'll also share with you a template that you can use to put your whole presentation to, which works with like 99% of presentations. So instead of people standing, reading walls of text, you'll be able to keep your audience's attention. And why am I doing this? It's because I also have a dream. It's a dream based on the conviction that all of us are unique, and all of us have a unique message to share. But sometimes we don't dare to, either through nerves, or because we just don't know how to present well. And so we keep the message to ourselves. And that's a tragedy. We all lose. You lose, and the world loses because they don't hear your ideas, your dreams. So I have a dream that one day each of us will be able to stand up and speak out the true, unique message within us. And in doing so, we will live up to Ted's creed to share great ideas. Thank you.